the whole concept with the DRI is to eliminate angles and cosines, which is bullshit, okay? okay? This is a distance reduction indicator, and what it does is it tells you the whole closer distance in yards or meters. Hi, I'm David Tubb. We're here today to talk about the installation procedure for the distance reduction indicator. You receive your distance reduction indicator, it will come packaged and completely assembled. And there are several ways to install it depending if you're going to put it on with your scope already on or you're going to put it on and obviously level it to whatever MOA rail you've got. From the factory they come adjusted to a zero MOA reticle so you may have to loosen these little three screws on the front and move this plate, indicating plate, up or down slightly in order to be sure that when the rifle is level, and if you look right here, I have a level on this rifle. So we're starting with a level gun, per se. And, and if you had a 20 MOA base here, you really want to move this level out and put it on your barrel, because you want your barrel level, and then you will make this read zero on the rear when you have it, this little plate properly adjusted up or down. So, <clears throat> it comes fully assembled. A Allen wrench will take this off. It, it, there doesn't really need to be any Loctite on this. This is a stainless screw into a, an aluminum shoulder. So if you kind of snug it up and you hear it click and clack a little bit or snap, it's not going to come loose. Right? So when you take this off, you'll notice that here's your DRI housing and here's your screw. You have a bushing, it will not come out. And then <clears throat> I'll set this down right quickly. And then you have three other screws. You have a nylon screw. We're going to go ahead and remove the nylon screw. We put it in there so you can't lose it because you may want to be using this nylon stop screw. We turn around and we have two screws on the bottom. So if you had a scope on here, let's assume we had there, you could take this piece and you could push it over and then you could install it with the scope on, right? We're going to install it right here with the scope off for the purposes of this video. So you just run this little Allen wrenches in and you have another option, the way to do this and or to further check or recheck and make sure or, or move it slightly and that is, you see I put it on like this but if I had gone ahead and had this piece on, let's say right here, okay, then I can also adjust it, the back screw here and the front screw through this hole. So I can slide this forward and aft with this piece on. Okay? And obviously when I tighten this up, I get it nice and snug. Make sure that this, and listen for this little snap or crack, all right? Get that little snap or crack? It's not gonna come loose on you, all right? You snug it up there, it's not gonna come loose. Now, when we, when we do this, and obviously we'd move our plate on the back, and, and if you watch this, this thing is virtually silent, okay? You watch it spin around there. There it is. It's with the, it repeats to within about a degree. There was a one degree low, okay? That was right on the money. Okay? That one's right on the money. So it repeats within a degree. And you notice it's silent, right? Now, why would you want to use the nylon screw? Well, the being the scope that you're using, okay, where you put it on the rifle. So I'm going to show you two places why you would want it and why you might not want it. Right. So I'm just going to set this on a ring back, and you'll notice when I hit this now, here it, it this this runs into the focus knob. All right. So if I and and if I've had this one notch further forward, okay does not run into the focus knob. Right? So you need to decide where you're going to position this. Obviously you're going to read it from this side and your friend or, or your spotter is going to read from this side. Right? So you have, well, why do we use the nylon screw? Well if we do use the, put the nylon screw on or in the front hole, obviously this one goes in the rear hole. There's two holes there to go in, front and rear. Right? So we'll put the nylon screw in the front and just push, just screw it in until it just stops and that's it's it won't come out. Got a lot of threads holding it. We'll put this back on, and once again we're gonna look for our little distinctive snap or crack. We'll put this on. Okay. Alright, now watch. 
we've limited how far this will move. Now it will go past uh, the uh, the range of of, uh, of readings, okay. But what this also does then is when you put your scope on, where this had a problem before, if you notice now it doesn't hit. See, it doesn't run into your focus. Line. So depending on what you're going to do, you may want the nylon screw or you may not. Um, and <clears throat> this re doesn't really, really require any maintenance at all. Uh, it can get dirty. Uh, you can wash it off. There's nothing on here that's going to rust. And, uh, you know, it, it should be good for years and years of use. Once again, the distance reduction indicator, installation, if you have any questions, you can always call Superior Shooting Systems, 806-323-9488 if you have any questions or if you lose a screw. For more information or to order your own distance reduction indicator, visit us on the web at www.davidtub.com. Product demonstrations can be viewed on our YouTube channel. Simply search for David Tubb.